You know, when it comes to the world of anime and manga, and especially in the subculture of the isekai, not everyone who is brought to a different world is meant to be the hero. Sometimes you become the hero. Sometimes you become a great mage. Sometimes you become a king. And then there are those who don't become anything special. The manga that I want to talk about today is one where the main character is not the hero. He's not a great mage and he will not be king. What he is is an exterminator who has done his job well on earth and has continued to do his job in this new world. The name of this manga is called Exterminator. Your main character, Naoki, was an exterminator on earth. Basically, pest control. You had a thing with bugs, with mice, or whatever. He took care of that. Well, one day, he died on Earth. And eventually, he awoke to a new world. Now, usually in the world of Isekai, this is where you're usually greeted by God or a king or something that says, I have brought you here for a mission. Not this time around. He woke up, and there was no special... Thing for him. There was no God, there was no mission, there was no Holy Sword. He was just an average Joe, but he had to live in this world. So he decided to do the only thing he knew how to do, which was to be an exterminator. See, in this story, he does what most people would do in your basic RPG. When he finds a town, he decides to join a guild and take on all the oddball exterminating jobs that most people would not like. See, most adventure guilds, if you read in stories, there's always the big things you hear. Fight the dragon, clear out the goblins, defeat the demon king. But a lot of people forget that in these guilds, there's usually rankings. And the lower ranks have to do the mundane work. Clean out people's homes, get rid of sewer rats, remove infested bug monsters from a house things like that a lot of the big adventures do not take these jobs luckily our exterminator boy is perfect for these jobs and now you might be thinking okay so he does normal work so how is this going to be a manga that i would like well the thing about being an exterminator in this world you actually gain experience points faster than you would believe. See, in the beginning of this manga, he is dealing with sewer mice. Uh, and he takes his knowledge from Earth. He basically makes rat poison and starts killing these things. And I guess when you do uh, monster hunts or something like that, you bring back a piece of them to prove that you killed them, and the rest you throw away or destroy. And so after cutting off the tails of thousands upon thousands, thousands of basically these rat monsters in the sewer he tosses the bags of bodies into a forest where there's a lot of monsters because the monsters will eat it and get rid of them and he didn't think anything other than that days later first of all after he's cleared out way more mice than people realized he accidentally destroys a door off of the guild hall which is freaking people out because first of all he's a level nothing and he just took out a door which was very well crafted. Come to find out, all those bags of mice that he was throwing away were killing other monsters. They would eat the mice, get poisoned, and die. But the strange thing is, they dying still accumulated points in his favor. So he literally jumped up in rank. See, after killing thousands upon thousands of mice, which then killed God knows how many other monsters, he went from being a low level to, in their world, a level 38. Which, according to their stories, the hero that took out a demon lord was roughly in the 50s or 60s. So, he's gone from nothing to being uberly stupid strong. Now, you might think at this point, someone's going to recruit him. They're going to want him to defeat bigger monsters and all that. No, in this, he goes, okay, that's fine. Can I take the job that involves kill killing the bees in the house? Seriously, this is what he does. He continuously does exterminating jobs. He isn't looking to 
fight dragons or goblins or whatever. He just does what he needs to. You might be wondering, well, aren't there going to be people who want him to do more? Yes, there is. And he actually gains a lot of friends and people he works with who are much stronger and want his help with things. But he continues to being true to his point. He just wants to do his job, live a life to where he can eat every day, have a house over his head, and continue to work. Now, at some point, he does decide to travel more of the world because he's interested in finding out more about this world and because there are stories of other off-worlders in this world. He's thinking, maybe I can meet them. Maybe we can learn why we're here. And he goes on a bit of adventure. And there are plenty of people who are around him that improve his life. During one chapter, he's clearing out a house of basically giant wasps and rescues two slaves who basically become his. But he eventually treats them as equals. He doesn't like the whole slave thing. He helps cure them and helps get them set up to where they can... One of them goes to school. The other one has a full-time job. And then later on, an instructor who, when he got ranked up, uh, fought with him and got defeated, she starts traveling with him. One, because she's curious about him. And two, because she's always thought, hey, if a man can beat me, then that's someone I ought to marry. And she's really trying to get him to uh, see her more as a female. And he's just like, mm, nah, I'm good. I got, I got work to do. It is a very unique story because, like I said, our main character is not trying to be the hero. He's not trying to save the world. He's not trying to become king. He just wants to be himself. He just wants to do his job, go home every day, enjoy a meal, and repeat the process. I find this kind of isekai very wholesome, very nice, to where you don't have to worry about, is he going to survive the next battle? Because, yes, he is. He's going to survive the next chapter because he's just clearing out a sewer of rats or he's taking care of a wasp nest. Did he kill a dragon on the way? He might have. Was it part of his job? No, but if it is, he is. He's just doing a simple thing to enjoy his life. And I truly like this kind of manga. I know I do a lot of isekais, but what about you folks? Do you enjoy the isekai culture? Do you think that something like this, which is a little different from the main isekais, would be something more of your favor? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, folks, I'm the noob. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch y'all next time. See ya!